Fishnet Bible Stories proudly presents Isaac Marries Rebecca At 127 years of age, Sarah closed her eyes and died. Abraham bought a special tomb, buried his beloved wife, and cried. Isaac missed his mother Sarah and was very sad. Abraham knew that Isaac was lonely and wanted to see him glad. He called for Eliezer and ordered a commission. Eliezer will be sent on a special mission. Swear an oath to me, Eliezer, said Abraham. Go to my home country and go to my own clan. Pick a wife for Isaac. God will give you a plan. Eliezer packed ten camels full of riches and presents. He traveled to Abraham's home country as he was commissioned. When he arrived, there were women drawing water from a well. He prayed to God for wisdom concerning this special mission. Dear God, please give me direction. Who should I ask for water? Please be my guide. May she bring me and my camel's water without hesitation. Let that be the woman you have picked for Isaac's bride. Before he finished praying, a young woman came to the well. Eliezer asked the beautiful woman for a drink. She quickly lowered her water jar and gave him plenty to drink. The woman looked at the situation. She said, I will water your camels. They are thirsty and dry. She did her task gladly without hesitation. Eliezer knew God chose Rebekah to be Isaac's bride. Eliezer gave Rebekah a gold nose ring and bracelets to wear. He asked, Please tell me, who is your father and who is your clan? Bethul is my father and he lives over there. She took Eliezer to meet her father and introduced him to her clan. Eliezer told Bethul Abraham's nephew about his commission. Rebekah agreed to be Isaac's bride. They rode back to Hebron and fulfilled this special mission. Isaac ran to meet Rebekah and she became his bride. Thanks for watching. This was part 18 of Abraham and Sarah's story in our Genesis series. To keep updated, hit subscribe and check out our other Bible story videos. Bye!